Hi everyone, my name is John Domo, a nurse working in the bronchoscopy unit. In today's video, we are going to talk about bronchoscopy. What is it, why it's done, and the items and equipment needed to perform it safely and effectively. Whether you are a healthcare professional, a student, or just curious, this video will give you a solid overview. Bronchoscopy is a medical procedure that allows visualization of the airways. The doctors are able to visualize the trachea, the bronchi, or even sometimes the small airways, what are commonly known as the bronchioles. This is made possible using a thin tube called a bronchoscope. The bronchoscope contains a camera and light at the distal tip, which allows direct and clear visualization on a screen in real time. There are two main types of bronchoscopy. First is the flexible bronchoscopy, which is the most commonly performed for diagnosis purposes and minor interventions. The second type of bronchoscopy that we have is the rigid bronchoscopy, which is mainly reserved for complex procedures like removal of large foreign bodies or even controlling large airway bleeds. Now that we have understood what bronchoscopy is, we will now discuss on its indications. Bronchoscopy is performed for a wide range of either therapeutic or even diagnostic purposes. On the diagnostic aspect of it, bronchoscopy is used in assessing the airway anatomy or even in cases where an abnormality has been captured on imaging either CT scan or even the X-ray. Bronchoscopy is also important in collection of tissue samples like the tissue biopsy, bronchoalveolar lavage, or even the bronchial wash, which are sent to the lab for further analysis. Bronchoscopy is also done to patients who present with persistent cough for a long time, or those patients who come with hemoptysis, that is coughing up of blood, or even in cases of unexplained wheezing. On the therapeutic aspect of it, bronchoscopy is important in removal of foreign body or even mucus plugs. Secondly, doctors are able to do suctioning of secretions in patients who present with poor airway clearance. Thirdly, as we mentioned earlier, bronchoscopy is important in managing airway bleed, specifically the rigid bronchoscopy. The final therapeutic indication is it's used in complex procedures like stent placement or even in cases of tumor debulking. Coming to the trolley, you will need sterile disposables. These are the things which the one assisting in the bronchoscopy procedure will have on the trolley. You will need assorted gauzes, you will need lubricating jelly, which is applied to the bronchoscope as it goes inside the nose or the mouth. You will need syringes just to withdraw uh, the normal saline to be pushed in the airway, whether you are collecting a bronchial wash or bronchoalveolar lavage samples then which are collected in this uh, mucus strap which is connected to the suction and the other end to the bronchoscope. We also need sedation which is uh, pushed uh, in various areas of the airway as the procedure progresses. We will need suction tubes which are connected to the bronchoscope and the other end to the suction unit. We also need specimen collecting uh, containers whether you are collecting um, the bronchial alveolar lavage or even the tissue biopsies which are going to be stored in these uh, collecting containers. This is a bronchoscope from one of the manufacturers, Fujifilm. It's a thin size bronchoscope, specifically EB710. 
This is the monitor where the doctors will be able to visualize the airways as they go down inside the lungs. This is the bronchoscopy processor that combines the light source and the camera, whereby the bronchoscope is attached. That is a basic overview of bronchoscopy. From what it is, when it is done, equipment and items needed. In the next videos, we'll dive deeper into patient preparation, step-by-step -step procedure flow, and even post-management of the patient after the procedure. Thank you.